Hello and welcome to another part of my series where I talk about new Grand Tundra Pokemon or so so far legendaries and their interaction with series 5 Pokemon and again new Grand Tundra Pokemon again and their interaction with those and you get the idea. Uh, in today's video we're going to be covering the three genies as I've said in the video before and honestly I'm quite well genies got huge buffs but uh, as you're gonna see, as we're probably going seeing right now, the moveset buffs are nothing too special. After all, scary face on Tornadus? Well, better use Talwind. Huh? Better Ball is probably the only really interesting move you can put to use on like all of these. Uh, like all of these uh, uh, genies, but like, are you seriously gonna go out of your way to, uh, and run Hail to compensate for the lack of Hidden Power Ice in this generation? I don't think so. That's a bit unviable. I, I mean, honestly, someone could make it work on some genius thing, but for generic, gener for general use, it's probably nothing too special. But if the genies got assurance, so if you want to use the fine set on them, uh, because of the ability capsule that's going, uh, that's coming out in your new crown tundra or ability patch, if I recall correctly. Uh, all of these legendaries, uh, that being the genies, all of them get their hidden abilities now. So that means they are going to be using either Sheer Force and Landris or defined as Tornadus or Thunderous. With that being said, assurances could be could be quite quite good on both of these genies. Uh, uh, let's, I'm really surprised by Tornadus getting nasty plot now because I remember uh, quite vividly that a lot of the a lot of the uh, well, basically, I played in Generation 6 and 7, and I've seen some Nasty Pot Thunderous side uh, walking right through my team with their Life of Thunderbolt boosted by plus 2 special attack. It, it was quite nasty to face up against, and I'm uh, kind of happy for Tornadoes to see it finally get Nasty Plot, but kind of unhappy as well, because what is it going to use? Hurricane? Uh, Air Slash? No, that's not very good. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't have much more special coverage either. I mean, to get Psychic Sludge Bomb. Come on, if you want these nasty plot, you go for Thunderous. Speaking of Thunderous, uh, it got Eerie Impulse. Remember the move from Generation 6 like two Pokemon got? And now it became a TR or TM for some reason? Well, uh, Thunderous gets it and Thunderous has Prankster, so it could go for some shenanigans right there. Uh, it got Prankster Thunder Wave as well, but Thunder Wave has, and Paralysis overall has been greatly nerfed in generation sh generational shift from Gen 6 to Gen 7. So. Uh, I did not expect uh, really this, uh, the support tuners to come back in full power, unfortunately. But oh well. Ladder is the got self destruct. Uh, okay, it gets explosion. Ladder ball, as I've said before. I, can, I mean, that can be used on hail teams or some. It could be gimmicky but, and it could work, but not for general use. And the rest of the moves are just like sand team, whatever. With that being said, uh, Look forward to the next Tapu video, I'm gonna make a video about Tapu Pokemon next time and there are actually gonna be quite big moveset changes for these Pokemon, so at least they're gonna compensate for like good moves in this video. That being said, let's go over these sets I'm having right here, prepared for you. Alright, so uh, reality is as following. Defiant Thun Tornadus does exactly the same what Thun Defiant Thunderous does, but Thunderous got Electric typing, literally on top of it. So, like, seriously, what's the deal? Like, uh, the problem with in previous generations, or at least Generation Five, uh, Tornadoes could use acrobatics with Flying Gem, and it had some other. I think it has some other flying moves that could be used. But now we are living in Generation Eight, 2020, and Fly can be transformed into Max Airstream. And quite honestly. Acrobatic, or acrobatic Tornadus is nothing special, it's too can make it a pull off honestly without Flying Gem. As I've said though, uh, Fly is available on both Tornadus and Thunderous, and Thunderous just got that extra coverage in Electric Typing, and Electric Typing can be quite big, as I'm gonna show you in the calculations a bit later in this video. Um, so don't miss out on Electric Coverage, run Thunderous, don't be mad to use Defined Tornadus. I mean, even... It's kind of sad that, for example, both of them get superpower as well. Like, seriously, both of them got the attack. So, why run Tornadus? Seriously. 
If you want to run Tornadus, you need to use it as a right hand to the absolute king of the church, uh, of the Crown Tundra Matter game, that being Metagross. Metagross is just completely ridiculous. From what I've just played on the experimental ladder on Pokemon Showdown, Metagross is as ridiculous as it sounded, and I fear Mont. Some people think Salamence is going to be best next to it. I mean, Salamence is going to be quite good, but Bulldoze again. It provides Intimidate, hey? That's something Tornadus cannot do. But Tornadus is absolutely the best uh, right hand to the Metagross. Uh, it's just so good alongside it. The idea is basically that it supports a Metagross with Pranks or Tailwind. And then Metagross is able to outspeed pretty much everything in the game, including Dragapult with this exact investment. So if you outspeed Dragapult, it means you can do it go with Max Steel Spike, or if you get plus the attack, that being that you got procced by Max Phantasm, the weakness plus got procced by it, you can probably launch a Dragapult quite easily. So and then, of course, Metagross just team rolls your team. Few, there are few counters to Metagross already that can one-shot it. But if they, he can outspeed all of these counters, most of the time they're gonna just crumble to single Max Quake or Max Steel Spike, so... That's basically the idea. You outspeed and kill everything with Metagross. And Tornadus enables that beautifully. Uh, Telmet is just... you need to run it. And Brutal Swing as well, because uh, you want to self... If, if the time allows it, you want to uh, Brutal Swing... Like, Brutal Swing it is dark type move that hits all the Pokemon on the field. And if you hit it with. If you hit Metagross with it, it procs the weakness policy. And you just uh, get a humongous power out of the Metagross. Rest of the moves are debatable. I think Taunt is. Like, from my, my experience, Taunt is just good for Amoongus plus Dragon Bolt combinations. And uh, the other. Like, basically, the idea behind it, that idea is to go for Taunt on Amoongus that's max speed. Uh, Dragon Ball will never go for Max Phantasm in that position, and instead goes for Max Airstream with Spore into Metagross. The Amoongus is Focus Sash, so they'll always take the attack from the Metagross, and then put it to sleep, and then you can probably do some magic with Dragon Ball again. So that's the idea, and Taunt blocks that. Another move I would highly recommend is run Protect on us. If you can Protect on one, all the Fake Out plans that open, like, one of the best interactions of this is to just go for a fake out and KO the Tornadus and then deal with the Metagross, which doesn't have the speed advantage anymore. But with Protect, you completely block that, so that's one idea. Ice 7 allows for Metagross to actually outspeed Venusaur in Sun. And just lower the speed addition by additional stage, and then you outspeed it and KO it with like plus 2 max Hellstorm. So that's the idea behind Ice 7, but of course, Hurricane or Air Slash are great moves uh, for it as well, so feel free to use those moves as they are pretty consistent and actually can deal some damage in the late game. Which, uh, honestly, I've had many games where Metagross just fainted in late game and Tornadus became a sitting duck, so... I'm not exactly against running moves like this, honestly. Right now, if someone would ask me, what do you want to run before regionals? I would probably run this set, because how consistently it pulls the strategy off. Now, why Mantle Herb? Well, Whimsicott has fa is faster, has Prankster as well, and has Taunt as well. But if you go for a, if you have Mental Harp, you're gonna sh shock off the uh, Taunt effect, and you're gonna set up Telmin anyway. So that's the idea behind Mental Harp. If you want to run Focus Sash, feel free though. Uh, that's also a good move. But why this EV spread? You might be asking. Uh, well, let's look into that. So this Tornadus. Uh, well, I'm gonna go over some more generic calculations first, and then we're gonna go over the. Uh, Big calculation, big, big, big calculation I wanted to say to you. So Tapu is Expanding Force or Psychic, they're actually the same. Uh, one last note. Expanding Force is basically two Psychics on the opponent's side, uh, on the opponent, two of, two of the opponent Pokemon. Uh, it has base power 20 base, it has 120 base power and it spreads over two opponents, which... For spread attack, the move's power is 0.75 which is basically 90, which is Psychic, so if you ever see calculation of me calculating Psychic, ever, it's basically expanding force, but for a single target, but we're calculating one Pokemon at a time, right? So it doesn't matter. So that level is Psychic, and you know, Tornadus in Psychic Train does about 75%, not too bad, but nothing special. Now, a bit of a sad calculation here is Tapu Goku's Rising Voltage or Volt Switch, there's the same base power as Rising Voltage's special effect is. If the opponent is grounded, the power doubles from 70 to 140. 
Tapu Koko's rising voltage always one shots tornadoes. If it's life orb, Tapu Koko. If it's not life orb, it actually survives the attack, but most of Tapu Koko's will be life orb, so don't expect you to lift that attack. Ladder resist rocks right rock slide against tornadoes. That's uh 52 to 63%. Again, kind of okay. You're not gonna get a bunch of it. Then if you get max steel spike off, it's gonna be free to go. So hooray. And here is the big, big calculation. Life Orb Sun Races G Max Powerball against Tornadus. Uh actually is that Powerball or is that? Uh I think that's the uh, max move actually. I'm gonna calculate after this video. If I'm wrong right here, I'm gonna probably have some text fly over here and tell me otherwise. But from the calculation I've prepared right now, I've lit, right? The G Max Fireball against Tornadus is has only 12% to one shot. That's amazing because that's one of the most powerful attacks in the game. Normally effect normally effective attacks in the game. So um that is the idea behind this. It's just only 12% one shot. And offensively, did not do much damage. I mean, I'm probably not. I'm probably not even going to go over the calculations because they're just so irrelevant. For example, Hurricane against Amigus has. Uh, well, it's clean to it, KO, but it does about 65%. So nothing too special. Alrighty, let's switch to Thunderous Defined right now. Alrighty, so Thunderous Defined. This is the most optimal move set you want to deal with. Turn into a bit super power, for example, and another rock types. So super power is the most useful move, and ice types as well, actually. Uh, flight for max air stream boost, the snowball out of control if you get a fine boost. Max lightning is amazing as well, of course. It's electric type. So let's go over some defensive calculation first, and then we're gonna get over the offensive calculations. Rock slide from Landris uh, Tyrion form against Dynamax Thunderous is free hit, clean free hit KO. 99.9% .9 of free hit KO. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's 32.9% to... That's the lower stroll, so it's pretty pretty high chance of free hit KO. Max health run for Metagross against Dynamax Thunderous. Never one shot. Now, this is the big one. Life for Blapper's Max Hellstorm against Dynamax Thunderous has quite a high chance to one shot. Uh, it has 93% of one shot. That's pretty much guaranteed one shot. So, if you're up against Lapras, you're probably not going to one shot them back unless you get like the fine boost. Then you're probably going to one shot though. But uh, Lapras will outspeed the entailment and will one shot you with Max Hellstorm. So, watch out for that. Keep, any, keep that in mind. Max Hellstorm from Togekiss on a critical hit. Uh, plus, no, uh, is it guaranteed to hit KO, even if the second hit doesn't crit? If they don't crit you twice, you actually get free hit KO'd, but don't expect that, actually. Life Orb Thunderous is Max Lightning against another Dynamax Thunderous. Uh, is it guaranteed to hit KO? So, from that calculation, we can probably tell that you should not go for Max Airstream plus Max Lightning combination to KO Thunderous. It doesn't work like that. You won't KO Thunderous by this combination of attacks. So go for two Max Lightnings and just do it KO it this way. Uh, that is defensive offensive calculation, actually. Let's go over some more uh, offensive calculations. So, Life of Thunderous' Max Airstream against Dynamax Venusaur is a guaranteed one shot. Absolutely amazing. You wanted to hear that. Right. Plus one, Life Orb Thunderous Max Airstream against Incineroar is again guaranteed one shot, but they might run more defense later in the metagame, so this might change, honestly. Life Orb Thunderous is superpower against Dynamax Tyranitar. Superpower. Keep that in mind. It's not Max Knuckle. Does about 80%. That's cool. Uh, you're not gonna one shot it by any but any chip like that. Even Scarfly like Dazzling Gleam now finishes it off, so that's pretty cool. Life of Thunderous is Max Airstorm against Max Defense Amoongus is always one shot. But again, keep in mind, a lot of Amoonga are going to run Copper Berry, so... Watch out for that. Uh, you're going to see so many Max Airstreams that this is easily the most optimal item on Amoongus. Life of Thunderous is super over against Stack Daka is guaranteed one shot. Alright, it's not Max Knuckle, but it's one shot, so I don't really care. Max Airstream, Life Orb against Apulele is a guaranteed 1 hit KO. Max Airstream against Lightning's Tyrion form if you're a plus 1 attack is a guaranteed 1 hit KO. Max Airstream against Rollaboom, again, surprise, surprise, guaranteed 1 hit KO. Max Lightning against Max Defense Fini with Life Orb, Max Lightning, is a guaranteed KO on any Max, even Max Defense Fini, so. 
Right, as long as they don't Dynamax, you're gonna easily one-shot them. Max Lightning against Dynamax Lapras, as I've said before, warning, warning, does about 85%. That's not a one-shot and they will one-shot you back, so keep that in mind. Max the stream against Dynamax Garchomp, I don't know why I call it that, but it is a clean free hit KO. And Max Lightning against Max Defense Togekiss, I mean almost Max Defense Togekiss, is again a guaranteed one-shot. Of course you won't one-shot the Dynamax Togekiss, so that's that's my way to say, say that, nice. Alright, so Thunderous Tyrion, I did not count that Pokemon since, honestly, what would you like to use? A uh, Dynamaxer with absolutely the same coverage, a more accurate fighting move, and Max Airstream at disposal and ability to snowball out of control with Defiant? Or would you like to run no flying move thund Thunderous? Like seriously, we just looked at the DLC Licked moves list, it does didn't get Hurricane or Air Slash Thunderous, so... Uh, Thunderous didn't get these moves, so it's just inf the special form is just inferior. Unfortunately for a lot of fans of Thunderous Tyrion, it's you just want to use the find Thunderous right now. So before I go over more, uh, I mean let's go over Assault by Slanderous first because it's just more technical. This is probably the best Assault by set on Lanterous. It accomplishes like everything you want offensively. It outspeeds everything you want to outspeed after a single max airstream. And rest is put to bulk for maximum survivability. Uh, I think there's just one calculation that actually is on on spot with survival on the land risk, but most other calculations are like, yeah, heck yeah, I'm gonna survive that easily. And I'm gonna go for more scary attacks like max risk 3, max quake. So that's basically the idea for Assaultus Land Rose. So uh, the speed investment, all right? The speed investment it allows the land race to outspeed Dragapult by one point. If it gets one max airstream, it will always outspeed Dragapult. Of course, without their own airstream, but that's Im immensely cool. Attack investment. I'm gonna go over calculations in just a second. And rest is put the bulk. Rest is put the bulk, as I've said before. Alrighty. So the most important calculation for land race there is is this one. 124 plus attack, Landorus' Max Quake against Dynamax Cinerize is a almost guaranteed one shot. It has 93% one shot. So technically, if you want if you get boost once with Max Airstream, you're always gonna scare off Cinerize, even if it Dynamaxes. So that's absolutely beautiful. Some more informational calculation. Among Us, again, if it even runs Max Defense, never survives the Max Airstream. Very cool. Max Tackle against Tarnanitar is always a one shot. Of course, non-Dynamax Tarnanitar. But it's always a one shot against non Dynamax one. Max Rockfall against more defensive Zapdos doesn't one shot, but even if it had like four, eight, four defense, it would still not be guaranteed one shot. So, kind of a shame you can't one shot Zapdos. Dynamax Thunderous, again, you do not one shot it. You do quite a number on them, but you do not one shot it, unfortunately. Tapulele, against Tapulele, Max Quake or Max Airstream is a guaranteed one shot. Against Metagross, Max Quake. Uh, against non-Dynamax Metagross does 103 to 122%, so that roughly translates to like 52 to 60% if it they Dynamax. And last Max Quake means, uh, uh, says that Max Quake against Incineroar, after you get Intimidated, does not one shot every single time. We're going to go over that in Life Orb, uh, Landorus, in just a second, but for some more defensive calculation, just so you know. Plus one, max special attack, life for Tapu Fini, max case here against Assault. This Assault as Landorus is never a one shot. That's cool. That's the top notch calculation I just told you, man. I don't think it's gonna ever come, uh, come to the play though, because you're gonna get max Quake Beast at one point, so you're gonna take that attack even better. Uh, but that's basically the idea. The usual Suicune, or the usual special attack investment for Ice Beam, the KO, or one shot, Choice Scarf Landorus, Tyrion form. That's only 30 to 35 percent right now. That was the generic special attack investment to one-shot lander steering form, choice car form, in generation six and generation seven. Now, in Dynamax assault West form, you have 24 percent that free it KO it, and you can get max quake boost to make it even worse. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be a lot of fun to try to KO Landorus the special way. Uh, max stream from Life from Zapdos against Assault West Dynamax Landorus does 36 to 43%. It's a guaranteed free hit KO. Or Shifu Rapid Strikes, uh, the water type of Shifu Surging Strikes, never one shot Landorus. They actually do 60 to 75%. 
That being said, if you don't die in a max, the Surging Strikes always one-shot you, so watch out for that. A max health room for max attacks Metagross that some people might run is guaranteed one shot on the spot against this Dynamax Linerus, so too bad, you can't lift them all though. Now let's go over the Linerus Tyrion form in Life Earth Calculation, much more uh, uh, aggressive Linerus that being. Um, of course with life orb uh, so what are the new calculations that he ko of course if i never didn't get some ko's before use our imagination to just boost it by 30 percent it's actually not too hard to even calculate it in hat on the spot right now if you're watching the video so uh Landry's Tyrion for max airstream against other Landry's Tyrion. so if you switch in after they are already in the game you're always going to want your dare Landry's Tyrion form with max airstream cool Max Rockfall against Dynamax Thunderous with Life Orb. Actually one shot. That's different from the different uh, from the Assault West calculation. We not only got Max attack right now, but also Life Orb Beast and are at our side. And we actually want your Thunderous this way. Dapu Fini does not crumble to Max Quake ever. But you get you're gonna get Max uh, you're gonna get special defense beast from that, so you don't really care. Max Air Stream against Cartana, the standard assault as uh, invested Cartana is one hit KO most of the time, but it's not guaranteed, it's 68%, so uh, if it's 4 HP Cortana, they're most likely gonna run uh, Focus Ash anyways, so um, most of the time you're gonna 2 hit KO that, unfortunately. And Max Quake against Incineroar with Life Orb Beast, you cleanly want your Incineroar, so that's hella cool. Defensively, you take the uh, Suicune's Ice Beam if you get a special, special Defense Beast and Dynamax, and that's pretty logical. And Apple Lice Psychic or Expanding Force uh, is a guaranteed free KO on Landris, so keep that in mind. And now let's go over the last Pokemon we got on our list today. Uh, I actually did not do many calculations for Landris because, because... I mean, at least for Landris, uh, sh uh, Sheer Force form, I would like really like to call it right now. Uh, at least it doesn't have the Dynamax like the Raikou and Azelf. It doesn't require Dynamax to be the almighty powerful. Failure that doesn't want you anything on the spot, unfortunately. But at least it doesn't eat up your Dynamax slot, so you can afford to not one shot stuff. That's very, that's very nice. Also, keep it in mind that sheer, this Landry's form will uh, not allow you to run Landry's Tyrion form on your team, so keep that in mind. If, because I honestly think Landry's Tyrion form is a bit more useful than the sheer force form. In more situations, that is. If you find need for Landry's sheer force form, Go for it. Max speed, max special attack, 4 HP. Uh, rock slide is optional. You can run protect as last thought because it's most likely going to, not going to want your charge out anyways, but uh, life of rock slide. That was niche for previous generations where it was mega charge out by. Now it dynamaxes and it's like choice scarf. Adam and turn into a rock slide for some reason. I don't know. The, the, the dynamax is just kind of weird. Uh, times of it have changed and. Rockside the line race is a bit passe. So let's go over some more calculations though. Life from Sheer Force Line Race Earth Power against Tarnator and Sand does not one shot, but does about 85%. That's not Dynamax Tarnator, by the way. That's normal Tarnator. Sludge Bomb against Tapulele with Life Open Sheer Force actually one shot it. So if you get if you get Delvin Beast, you're gonna one shot Tapulele pretty easily. Cool. Here is the calculation about Charizard, it made me so unhappy. Landorus, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Rock Slide against Dynamax Charizard only does about 75%. I mean, it does 70 to 83%, but come on. It will get Max Air Stream and Sun, and then it just steamrolls your team. You can't afford to do that. Life Orb, Landorus, Sheer Force, Psychic against Amigus does about 70%. Life Orb, Sheer Force, Landorus, Earth Power against Incineroar is a guaranteed one shot against Incineroar that takes Max Quake from Venusaur, so that's actually very cool. Again, another thing can just get rid of. And another thing that's very useful for Landorus to knock out, or at least chip away, is Managros. Uh, Dynamax Managros, turn 52 HP against Life Orb, Sheer Force. Very special attack if Landorus, Earth Power. Super effective stab. Does 70 to 85%. Wah, wah. But hey, it does a lot of damage, so you can probably... If you chipped it away on the lead, by anything, and if you set up Talman as well, as the opponent did, you can probably do a lot of damage to Metagross. This is like literally as far as you're gonna get without stat drops, like from like overheat, so 
cherish this moment. This is like the best non-Dynamax and the option against Manigros. As sad as it sounds. <laughs> and now for some defensive calculations. Top Lola is expanding force of Psychic. Never one shot uh, Landorus, that's very cool. We're gonna one shot back. And because how sheer force works, weirdly, Life of Recall is gonna be negated. It's not gonna happen, but a boost will happen, so that's cool. Max Aura Growth from Cartana has 68% of one shot. What's with 68% and Cartana's today? But okay, keep that in mind. This is calculation. If there are four attack, they're prone probably if they are four attack, they're probably not gonna KO you. And by the way, they are gonna add speed. You have only 101 speed, unlike the Tundras and uh, Tornadoes. Double Fini Max Fissure against Lightrace is a guaranteed one shot. Sweet Guns Ice Beam against this Lightrace again is again a guaranteed one shot, so keep that in mind. It's the standard special attack investment to KO Lightrace. Libero, Life Forbes, and Race Max Airstream against this Lightrace has 31% one shot. You could invest for this actually, to survive this, but. Um, you do not want to miss on the Sludge Bomb one shot chance from Tapu Lele, so you have to choose between uh, Red Pill or Blue Pill, excuse me. Uh, going Tapu Lele 100% of the time and surviving Sun Race 100% of the time. I don't know. And Sun Race is G, G Max Fireball against Lighters. I guaranteed one shot, easily one shot it. Not even a close. So, that's the basically the calculations for Lighters. Uh so thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time with Tapus. Tapu Lele, Tapu Fini, Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Coco. Actually, I prepared 8 sets for you, and like 5 today. So this will be like 40 minute video next time. With that being said, I hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!